Something strange is happening to Earth's magnetic field. Over the past 3,000 years, it has lost nearly 30% of its strength. Scientists warn that this could signal an impending pole reversal. It's happened hundreds of times in Earth's history, but what does that mean for us today? Could it disrupt satellites, power grids, and even our climate? Or is this just a natural cycle that Earth has survived before? In this video, we'll explore the science behind magnetic flips. Earth's magnetic field is powered by the geodynamo effect, a process occurring in the planet's outer core. This layer, composed of liquid iron and nickel, moves in complex patterns due to Earth's rotation and internal heat. As these molten metals circulate, they generate electric currents, which in turn create a global magnetic field. Without this mechanism, Earth would lack a functional magnetic shield, exposing its atmosphere and surface to high-energy solar and cosmic radiation. One of the most critical roles of the magnetic field is its ability to deflect solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun. When unprotected, planets experience atmospheric stripping, as seen with Mars, which lost most of its atmosphere billions of years ago after its internal dynamo shut down. Without a strong magnetic field, Earth's air and water could slowly erode into space, dramatically altering conditions for life. The magnetic field also shapes the magnetosphere, a vast teardrop-shaped region extending tens of thousands of miles into space. This boundary prevents most harmful radiation from reaching Earth's surface. However, Earth's magnetic field is not constant. It fluctuates over time, shifting in strength and even changing pole positions. But what exactly happens when Earth's magnetic poles reverse? Earth's magnetic field is not static. It has flipped hundreds of times over the past 160 million years. These events, known as geomagnetic reversals, occur when the north and south magnetic poles switch places. The last full reversal, called the Bruns Matayama reversal, happened 780,000 years ago. Scientists have identified this pattern by analyzing iron-rich minerals in volcanic rock and seafloor sediments. The magnetic flip is not instantaneous. It unfolds over thousands of years, during which the magnetic field weakens and becomes chaotic. Instead of a simple north-south switch, multiple poles can emerge at unexpected locations before settling into a new alignment. One of the most notable weak spots in today's field is the South Atlantic Anomaly, or the SAA, a region over South America and the Southern Atlantic, where the field is significantly weaker. Satellites passing through this zone experience higher radiation exposure, leading to malfunctions and data corruption. Some scientists believe this anomaly could be an early sign of a larger shift. But is the field's current behavior truly signaling an impending reversal? To answer that, we need to look at the measurable signs of magnetic instability happening right now. Several measurable indicators suggest that Earth's magnetic field is undergoing significant changes. Over the past 3,000 years, the field has weakened by nearly 30%, and the rate of decline has accelerated in recent decades. If this trend continues, it could signal the early stages of a magnetic reversal or an excursion. One of the most striking signs is the rapid movement of the magnetic north pole. Historically, the pole drifted at a slow, stable rate. However, in the 1990s it began accelerating, and it's now moving towards Siberia at approximately 34 miles per year, three times faster than its average speed a century ago. But what actually happens when a magnetic flip occurs? The transition isn't as simple as a north to south switch. It's a complex process with widespread effects. A magnetic flip is not an instant event. It unfolds gradually over hundreds to thousands of years. During this transition, the Earth's magnetic field does not simply vanish, but weakens dramatically at times dropping to as low as 10% of its normal strength. This weakened state leaves the Earth more vulnerable to cosmic radiation and solar activity. As the field destabilizes, multiple magnetic poles can appear in different locations, creating a chaotic, unpredictable system 
before a new stable polarity emerges. Evidence from lava flows, seafloor sediments, and ancient artifacts shows that past reversals featured temporary magnetic poles near the equator. One of the most significant consequences of a weaker magnetic field is increased exposure to cosmic radiation. Without the field's usual shielding effect, satellites and space stations will be bombarded with more high-energy particles, leading to frequent electronic malfunctions. On Earth, geomagnetic storms could disrupt power grids, damaging transformers, and causing large-scale blackouts, much like the 1989 Quebec blackout, which was triggered by a geomagnetic storm. Certain animals, such as sea turtles, migratory birds, and whales, rely on Earth's magnetic field for navigation. A weaker or erratic field could temporarily confuse these species, potentially leading to disruptions in migration patterns. While Earth's atmosphere remains our strongest defense against radiation, a weaker magnetic field could allow more solar radiation to reach the surface, leading to localized atmospheric effects, including temporary changes in regional weather patterns. Despite these disruptions, the fossil record shows that ancient human civilizations and life on Earth has survived multiple flips without catastrophic consequences. A magnetic reversal would bring significant challenges, but it is unlikely to cause mass extinction. The greatest concerns stem from technological vulnerabilities, particularly in space and power infrastructure. A weaker magnetic field provides less protection from solar radiation, making satellites more susceptible to high-energy particle bombardment. In 2003, the Halloween solar storms caused severe disruptions, knocking out half of NASA's satellites and forcing airlines to reroute transpolar flights due to increased radiation risks. A widespread weakening of Earth's field could lead to more frequent communication blackouts and navigation errors. Earth's atmosphere blocks most cosmic radiation, but a weaker magnetic field would increase radiation exposure at high altitudes. In 1989, a solar storm increased radiation levels on flights over the North Atlantic, exposing passengers and crew to radiation levels equivalent to several chest X-rays. Future magnetic field weakening could double or triple radiation exposure on long-haul flights, increasing cancer risks for pilots and frequent flyers. Animals that use the magnetic field for navigation, such as monarch butterflies, pigeons and spiny lobsters, may experience temporary disorientation but can adapt over generations. Scientists use a combination of satellite data, geological records, and computer models to track and predict changes in Earth's magnetic field. Satellites provide real-time data on field strength, pole movement, and anomalies. The European Space Agency's SWARM mission, launched in 2013, tracks magnetic signals from Earth's core, while NASA's Themis mission studies how solar activity interacts with the magnetosphere. Since direct measurements only go back a few centuries, scientists study lava flows and seafloor sediments. As lava cools, iron-rich minerals align with the magnetic field, preserving its history. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge reveals a pattern of past reversals, confirming that flips are a natural process. More so, supercomputer models simulate molten iron movement in Earth's core, showing how fluctuations could lead to a reversal. These models suggest the current field weakening is linked to asymmetric shifts in the outer core's flow. Whether the shift stabilizes or continues, modern technology must adapt to a weaker magnetic shield. But how can we prepare? While a magnetic reversal won't be catastrophic, a weaker field poses risks to satellites, power grids, and aviation. Scientists and engineers are already working on ways to mitigate these challenges. Satellites, which rely on Earth's magnetic shield for protection, will face increased exposure to cosmic and solar radiation. To prevent system failures, agencies like NASA and the ESA are developing radiation-hardened electronics and improved shielding. Similarly, power grids are vulnerable to geomagnetic-induced currents, which can overload transformers and cause widespread blackouts. Utility companies are implementing automatic shutdown mechanisms and capacitor banks to minimize damage. In aviation, pilots and crew flying polar routes already experience higher radiation exposure, and a weaker field could worsen this. 
airlines may need to adjust flight paths or enhance shielding for high-altitude flights. Ongoing scientific research continues to refine magnetic field models, ensuring better predictions. Raising public awareness is equally crucial to prevent misinformation and unnecessary panic. While a magnetic flip may bring challenges, Earth has experienced them before, and with the right preparations, so can we. Earth's magnetic field is changing, but humanity has the tools to adapt. While a flip could disrupt technology, it won't be the end of the world. What do you think? Will our advancements outpace these changes? Let's discuss this in the comments. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fascinating science content.